Best part about the Proud Boys is I, I get to surround myself with with a bunch of guys who have a lot of core values. Most guys my age are just basically interested in sitting at home, masturbating, eating Cheerios, and playing video games. Masturbation is lack of impulse control. <laughs> Hi, motherfuckers. I'm your host, The Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. When I'm on the run, when I'm on the run, all I gotta do is dial 911. 911, what's your emergency? I need milk right now. And the United States' anger continues to mount against the Whitey White House fucked up policy of snatching brown babies from their parents' arms and throwing them in big box concentration camps. And in recent weeks, calls to hashtag abolish ICE have jumped from the radical fringe to the motherfucking mainstream. I think ICE should be abolished. We should abolish ICE. Get rid of it. Start over. Their mission, I think, is very much in question. No borders, no nations, stop the deportations. ICE has a PR problem. A couple years ago, Democrats were voting to fund the border wall. And now they want to abolish ICE. Some of them are calling really for anarchy over authority. Right. Came into the shitstorm of popular fucking outrage he don't wittingly unleash on June 20th, the orange one, signed an executive order bringing a formal end to the racist policy of forced family separation, swapping it out for the still racist but more lucrative policy of locking children up with their families indefinitely in private for profit prisons. Ooh, that's dirty. But even this poorly polished up turd of a compromise came too late, because by that time, the genie was already out of the fucking bottle. On June 17th, a crowd in Portland spontaneously swarmed an ICE detention facility and set up a blockade, trapping La Migra in their cubicles, blocking their pizza delivery guy, and jacking their cheesy bread. Over the next couple of weeks, so-called Occupy ICE protests spread with physical encampments popping up in New York, San Francisco, Tacoma, Philly, Louisville, Atlanta, Detroit, Charlotte, San Diego, LA, and motherfucking Wichita. I am here in Wichita. We are occupying ICE. <laughs> despite the constant attempts by the Democratic Party to recuperate this issue and channel it towards midterm elections, the legit fucking rage and impromptu solidarity shown in the streets by this movement has been impressive, and the tactical use of barricades have proven effective in shutting down ICE detention and immigration processing facilities and gumming up the fucking gears of the United Snakes deportation machine. But like the Occupy movement that is drawn its inspiration from, Many of the occupied ICE encampments have been seriously fucking hampered by the peace police, including operatives from the state and local leadership of the Democratic Socialists of America, or DSA. In a craven display of authoritarian bootlicking, these would-be politicians have kicked anarchists out of the occupations over minor acts of vandalism, thrown their more militant DSA comrades under the bus, and generally tried to maintain a friendly relationship with the pigs. We love our cops, our lives. Shut the fuck up! But since these DSA turt tokers love authority so fucking much, they've given themselves bright orange vests, reminiscent of grade school hall monitor uniforms, making them easy to identify. So you know who to give a wedgie to once the adults are out of sight. And just like Occupy, calls for nonviolence have been met with heavily militarized police raids that have so far succeeded in clearing out the occupation sites in Atlanta, Philly, and San Francisco. It remains to be seen if this movement will be able to recover from the raids of their camps and shift their tactics and strategies accordingly. But in the meantime, be sure and show some love to peace who have already been arrested in the fight against ICE. Just check out the show description for links to how you can help. And in other fucking news, the alt-right shitlords behind last summer's Unite the Right clusterfuck in Charlottesville, Virginia have announced plans for a sequel, set to take place over the weekend of August 11th and 12th. Since a bunch of the dipshit organizers of last year's debacle are being currently sued by the pissed off residents of Charlottesville, it is now time for me to lawyer up. 
It looks like this time around, the shit show will be shifting to DC. It remains to be seen what kind of forces the alt-right will be able to muster, since sweater vest fascist Dick Sphincter has made it clear that he doesn't find rallies fun anymore, and the third wankers party fell apart after its leader, Matt Hindlegs, got caught fucking his second-in-command's wife, and the two got into a straight-up trailer park fistfight. But if the recent better-than-expected showing in Portland was any sign, they could come ready to rumble. We'll be sharing more deeds as they become available. But for now, save the fucking date, y'all. Let's have a discussion about is it right? Is it okay to punch a Nazi? Yeah, I went to history class, right? You didn't just skip the shit and go play ball in the gym? Yo, your father, like, your, like your great great grandpappy probably has a box full of Nazi ears that he cut that? off. And lastly, on Friday, July 6th, ahem. All motherfucking charges against the remaining J20 defendants work. <laughs> Not only does this epic fucking victory means peace will be spending decades in the clink, but it's also deliver a resounding fuck you to the US Justice Department and the DC Metro Police. Who's the loser now? I'm throwing a serious fucking wrench in the state's overall attempts to criminalize anarchists and anti-fascist resistance in the age of Trump. A huge whoop whoop to all the peeps who've been busting their ass for the past year and a half to get these charges beat, and to all the comrades who were solid as fuck in the dock. Y'all are fucking heroes. Bully this bitch! And that's all the fucking news for today. This summer's been a scorcher, so help me pay for my AC bill. Shoot me some ducats at sub.media slash donate. Buy a shirt or a coffee cup with my face on it, or pick up one of our brand new black block t-shirts at sub.media slash gear. And remember to follow me on all your mass surveillance and mind control platforms. Just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañeras.